103. Alright, so my recorder cut off really quickly, so what you didn't see is that I somehow convinced her. I convinced her, you know, I started convincing her that it's time to go, and I told her, oh, well, isn't this place better off as a preserve? So, and then she said, oh, but as long as Hammond's still in charge, you know, nothing, excuse me, nothing good is gonna happen. So, uh, you're in danger, I'll think of something. History or Hammond? I don't know. What is this yellow light supposed to mean on the wheel? Let's say Hammond. Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place. You have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. Well, obviously that's true. If you knew how I spent my youth, you'd be surprised to find me working in a place like this. Yeah, that's right. Your history. Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors... I'm not supposed to say this, but I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there, you could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder. And but how that right. convinces her, I don't know. The orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He told him to stay away from the quarantine. Oh, Dr. Hands. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Oh, uh, okay. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. Oh no, okay, Sorkin's lab, what's happening? Dr. Harding, we've done it! And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what? What's that? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaur's behavioral program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back, along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally safe. Let me give the solution to them, to see if it even works. How many? Only a hundred. Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress we've made with them. Only a thousand. Yeah. They multiply like uh, rabbits. We'll go. Cool. Okay, and the screen will freeze again. <laughs> I'm glad to finally have you out here, Dr. Harding. Despite the circumstances, we've been doing some very interesting work with our parasaurs. Behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls. Some of them. And I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? Dino told me I don't tr Oh, I'm playing as her now. Trust me. Trust me, sweetie. If there were any predators, we'd know. See that one? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various parasaur sounds that play through them. Dad, it's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The parasaurs will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Stay with Dr. Sorkin. This place is supposed to be remote anyway. Watch, the dinos are gonna come anyway. Dino rain couldn't be easy, you know. What now? Dino speak. So you can really speak dinosaur? We've been doing behavioral tests using various parasaur calls, playing them through the speakers around the pen. We can't just shoo the animals out. 
but we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more uh, amorous dinosaur. What about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically, we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. Um, haha. <laughs> How? Need a quick reminder about how the speakers work? Alright, go through it one yes, more time. Please. These speakers on the west, west side, side of the please. can be set a to food play call. a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east, east is mating sounds that will attract the more the uh, amorous dinosaur. The big speakers in the center emit a danger call that will scare the dinos and away. Somehow we need to get them out the pen. Oh, okay, here we go. West speakers. So basically, I need to attract. What, what does right bumper do? Oh, it shows me where they are. So they're all in the back. I need to move them forward. Let's try this. How do I turn on the speakers? I'll have to tell your dad to do it when we're ready. Can only have one at one time. Nope, here we go. That should do it, right? One more time. Review with me. What 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 uh what does scare dinos? Okay, we'll do that in a sec. Need a quick reminder about how the speakers work? Yes, please. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set right, to play so the west a side will attract them. That will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east, east control the attract, so they both attract, attract and the then the middle one repels. The amorous dinosaur. The big speakers in the center emit a danger call that will scare the dinos away. All right, from so then go ahead and tell your dad to do it. Dr. Harding? Yeah. West side speakers, please. So I heard you were like a hippie protester or something in the 70s. Where did you hear that? From, From the big redneck. The 70s were a tumultuous time. I fought for what I believed in. And sometimes it gets you arrested. Son of you a bitch. You were arrested? Bitch. And you still got a job as a uh, you know, scientist? Ah. Paleogeneticist. And yes, youth is the time to be reckless and test your boundaries. It's how you learn what's important to you. Anyway. Now then, let's do that again. Let's uh, let's uh, tell that other dino that they need to have sex. <laughs> let's do the mating call. Doctor Harding. Yeah. All right. Let's do the mating speakers. I need you to activate the east side speakers, please. East side. Okay. That's a mating call. Oh my. God. It's called a turn off in human terms. So, what happened to your assistant? Let's not talk about that right now. Well, did you work with him long? It doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man. And I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. You understand? Alright, it looks like they're all up front. Alright, so hopefully there's nothing stupid where they all run backwards or something. Let's just tell them to go scare them. Dr. Harding? Yeah? Danger speakers. 
Activate the danger speakers. Oh yeah, you're gonna escape T-Rexes by doing that. Good job. Just slowly walk. Finally, go forth and multiply. <laughs> you're pretty good at this. Maybe you'll be a behavioral oh, yeah, scientist Yeah, all I did was someday. push a few buttons. Maybe I will. I heard that. Yes, I did. Aww. Ah, this is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. I just have to do one more thing, and then we can. Oh, leave. here we go. Something wrong. Something bad's gonna happen. My scene. If the dinosaurs are to have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not gonna let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Just. Dr. Sorkin? Laura. Um, Laura. It's an amino acid. What's lysine? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Wow, they probably reuse this voice clip. Doses, they'll all die off. Don't tell my dad, but I got a D in chemistry. Then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. Okay, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. Okay, Jess, let's get started. I'm still talking. <laughs> I said, I said, fuck off, and I'm still doing it. I'm telling you, man. Almost made me swear. Oh, food Chinese food. food! Don't get me started. Yeah, right. I've never seen. You I almost shat out my liver. Ever. I said almost. Besides, my date was. Oh! Remember the girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf? Uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. Oh, you remember her? She was the one that was wearing the. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, you what? She got free! Go, go, go! Hasta la vista! Oh crap, he got on. And so did he. Okay, you win. Okay, okay, you win! Set the chopper down! You're putting Oscar's life in danger. He doesn't really like that. He's slipping off. Oscar, get over here. I'll pull you in. Come on, man. That's it. Shit, I pressed the wrong button. Come on. One more. And here she goes to dick things up. There you go. It's easy when it's not jerking all over the place. That woman, she's dead when I get in there. Come on, Oscar, put those giant friggin' arms to work. Get in here. You don't look like Hulk Hogan for nothing. Mash that. There we go. We got him. Stubborn son of a hey, she's <laughs> flying that, you idiot! What the hell? No problem. You got this. Oh, she about to cut some ass. Land this thing now! Oh, now That's you want to land it? Happen. Slice that. Yeah. Cut that goatee. Fucking ugly goatee. Slice that. Ooh, throwing knife. That's right. Don't do that, bitch. Pretty good. Uh, no. 
Not so. Oh! 